What's up, Peter Mom Panda here. Hey, just ordered myself this Black & Decker 16 volt lithium cordless hand vac. Now, a couple things that I want to point out here before I open this sucker up is this model is the CHV1410L. There's also, I think it's a 1500 version, uh, which does not use the lithium battery, and I believe it uses a, a nickel-based, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium battery, something like that. And so, even though they look exactly the same, and I think function exactly the same, there have been some issues with people saying that the, the nickel-based batteries tend not to work uh, very well or tend to run out of juice very quickly or tend to have a very short lifespan. So, went with the lithium uh, battery on this one. We will give it a shot and see how well it works. All right, so got the thing unboxed here and took a little look around. The cool thing is there's, there's a charging base and it's kind of like those uh, hot water chargers. It looks like it should just fit, sits anywhere on there and the little blue light on the, the LED uh, opening here blinks blue while it's charging. Pretty nice, small, compact size. It's fairly light, um, three or four pounds possibly. And uh, I've noticed here there are a couple of nice features. So right here where this arrow is on the tip, you can pull this out and extend the nozzle. It locks into place. You press down here on this area, arrow to push it back into uh, the shorter nozzle as it stands. And then there is a flip out brush here to help agitate things if you are doing carpet or um, somewhere where you might have grit. I'm gonna actually try to vacuum up some soot in a little while and I might use these. Then you press these buttons on the side to get the hose portion off. There is the vent where it kind of circulates, pushes the, as it vacuums in the air and the debris goes to the side here. Kind of works like a vortex, kind of like a Dyson or a cyclonic technology to uh, create a a whirlpool effect in there with the air. There is this filter button here. Push that down to release this this housing, this plastic housing, and then the filters come out just like this. There is this plastic pre-filter which just twists out. I noticed in the instructions it says don't throw this away because you can just rinse it and use it. And then there is a paper filter on top of this which is going to catch your really fine stuff. So this just twists back into place here. You just set this back into the plastic housing, like that, fits in nicely, and then you slide this back in, and there's a little hook here that snaps into place right there. Put your housing back on, you gotta see both tabs click into place, just like that, and then your power button is right there. And from here, fires on, good suction on this end, and exhaust comes out this end. Let's give it a shot and see how it works. All right, so the Black & Decker's been charging now and I have lots of dust around this stove and ash and chips and things like this. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to try the vacuum and see how it works. Um, and in some places I have charcoal on stone and I didn't want to wipe it up with a wet cloth and kind of grind it in. So let's give it a shot and see how this thing works. Fire it up. So plenty of suction power, picked up ash and charcoal right off of stone without a problem. Well, I like it. I think it's going to be pretty useful. Black & Decker uh, advertises 19 continuous minutes with the lithium-ion battery. So definitely check it out. Good value for the money, about 50 bucks, and as good as any of the other products I've seen on there. And you can see all the stuff collects right there. Easy to dump out. Peter Ron Panda for the Black & Decker handbag. Out!